Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh A'udhu billahi minash shaitan rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Ya Sin sallallahu alaihi wa sallam Wal Qur'anil hakim Innaka la minal mursalin Ala siratim mustaqim Alhamdulillah that Another time We are all meeting here In this Jum'ah and I'm always missing this masjid, always saying to, when I come here to some people, make sure that we can come even to in this masjid. Not necessary to give a nasiha or waz, or we call it lecture. It's necessary to see the people again. And Alhamdulillah, today we are here. And this is a wonderful time to be together on Jum'ah Day. Muslims are being honored. Today people, they, they, when they get an invitation from a leader, they get an invitation from a respected person, they feel they are honored. And what you think about those who have been honored by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Allah said in Holy Quran, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Walaqad karramna bani Adam. We have honored, Allah honored us all, honored Muslims when he created creation, all of them were Muslims. Because Prophet وسلم, said, Yuladul insan ala al fitra, people are born on innocence. His parents change his belief. <coughs> believe souls in the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were holy, in a holy place. So we have been honored by being created first of all. If you were not created, there is no honor. Being a human being is an honor. That's why it is always thank, to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to create us is a must. And that's why he said, Wala in shakartum la azidannakum. If you thank me, I honor you more. And what is thanking him for what? Not for dunya only. <coughs> Someone become rich and they say, oh, thank you, Ya Rabbi. Someone become sick and then he got cured, thank you, Ya Rabbi. Not only for that, but for being here. If we were not created, we never knew about Allah, we never would knew about Prophet So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already honored us to be created. Then he honored us to be from Ummatul Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then he honored us with Quran, Holy Quran that he sent it for Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to give it to all creation <coughs> and people might not think about issues that how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored 
us with. It is said by Al-Qurtubi, one of the biggest scholar in the early era, that the first one who made sajda, the first one who made sajda to Adam alayhi salam, which is for sure everyone knows that it was sajda, the light of Prophet that was in Adam alayhi salam. The first one was Israfil alayhi salam. He made that sajda. First one to go, when Allah ordered, immediately was the first one his forehead touching wherever it was touching. And it is said he was the one that was followed by all angels. Because of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered the Holy Quran to be written on his forehead. Allah. And he was the only one called Abdul Rahman. From his names is Abdul Rahman. Allah honored him for sajda of respect. He did sajda of respect. Allah honored him to write the Holy Quran on his forehead. What you think about someone who is making sajda ibadah, sajda to ibadah, a sajda for worshipness, making sajda to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not like doing a sajda for Adam because uh, Allah ordered, but you are doing sajda of ibadah because Allah ordered also, people are doing sajda of ibadah, if he has written, ordered to be written the Holy Quran in the forehead of Israfil, what you think Muslims, Ummatul Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is going to be written for them on their foreheads? Allah. One sajda got written the Holy Quran in his forehead. forehead. How many sajda Muslims are doing daily? Count them. Too many. Too many sajdas. Every sajda for Adam, one Holy Quran being written. For Muslims, if you are doing daily 40 sajda, or fifth what you think will be written here? It will be written for sure. The Holy Quran, as it is mentioned for uh, Serafil alayhi salam. Do you think from sajda to sajda, the words never changes? Kalimatullah will not be changed. But the interpretation, the secrets in these words will change. New secrets will be coming out. Quran is not a, a, a limited meanings. Quran is Allah's words. Allah's words, if all these oceans were ink and all trees were uh, pent, no way all this will finish and Allah's words will not finish. The way, where is Allah's words then? Where are they hidden? They are hidden in Holy Quran. Because Holy Quran is Allah's ancient words. Kalamullah al qadimi It's not created. It's there. They are there. All these secrets of these ayat, you cannot limit them. You cannot say every ayah has 10 meanings or 20 meanings 
or hundred meanings or one million meaning, then you are limited Allah's words. And Allah's words are from the essence. They are coming from Zatullah, from Allah's essence. These secrets cannot be written. <coughs> they is like you see that in Niagara Falls, you see the water coming down, and they say, I don't know if I recall the figure correctly, they say 50 million gallon, either in every minute or in every second, I don't know, of water coming out. These are in limits, even. Allah's words are not in limits. If that water is running like that, what you think the water of Holy Quran, the secret of Holy Quran, how much is giving? And what is written in your forehead is not similar to what is written in his forehead. And every time, it's not a photocopying machine that every time you'll be written the same thing. Every sajda, you have, you will be, it will be written something different from the first one. Second sajda will be different from the first sajda. Third sajda will be different from the second sajda. And how, this is how it moves until there will be no more written anything. When no more, when no, nothing will be written anymore, this is the moment of death. It means that, that secret is stopped. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Alayhi Afdalu Salatu Wasallam When Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said Yaseen Wal Quran al Hakim, he made him Yasin and the Holy Quran on both sides. Not, not differ. And Yasin, it is said in Islam that it is the heart of Quran. Means Prophet is the heart of Quran. And the heart of Yasin is Al-Fatiha. Means the heart of Prophet is Al-Fatiha. What is in Fatiha? No one knows. It's enough the first word. What is written there? Alhamdu. Alhamdulillah. Finish. Glory for Allah. How much glory? No way to understand. Means there is no one can reach a level of such level. He is the creator. He gives levels. So he gives you a level when you recite and say Alhamdulillah. He will dress you with his endless knowledge, Al-Khaliq, Al-Alim, every moment you think creation, when he say Al-Khaliq, the creator, if, if creation stops, he is limited. And Allah cannot be limited in his attributes. When he say Al-Alim, or Al-Khaliq, every moment, in his moments, in heavenly moments, created creation. Where are they? Where are they? If you say he stopped, he created and stopped, he is in limits. Allah cannot be in limits. Hasha. Hasha lillah. Physicists, they are in limits. They build telescopes in order that they will be able to see some part of this galaxy. 
Where you cannot see everything on this galaxy. It's hidden. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was not hidden for him. Because the Holy Quran is written on his forehead with a meaning different than the Holy Quran written in our heads. Same language, because Allah's words doesn't change. But what comes fountains from that of knowledge, every moment he is an alim. An alim means he is the one that gives knowledge. <coughs> knowledge never ends. If you say it ends, then Allah's knowledge ends cannot be. Allah's knowledge continuous. And Allah gives continuously. And the knowledge that he gives doesn't, is not similar to the knowledge he, gave, he will give after. So then what we think? The physicists today are doing other than Hubble telescope. Now I don't know what kind of telescope they're saying now. But I was with the manager of Hubble telescope who was, uh, he's a Muslim, Dr. Nazir Ahmed. Uh, he said to me that the, uh, the glass, or the, what you call the magnifier, lens. Huh? Lens. the lens, the power of the lens is like a lens from California to New York. The power of the lens of Hubble telescope that they made, and it is small, it's, I think, 10, 10 meters in diameter or 15, 20 meters in diameter, he was saying. He said, if you want to not polish it as much, it will be, it, it needs a, a lens from California to, to New York. A lens of 3,000 miles. To be able to see what this lens is seeing. If they polish it more, can see more? Yeah, they can see more. But still in limits. Can we see more from the Holy Quran that is written on our forehead? Can. But it's veiled. Because of our, I don't like to say, but all of us in the same problem, because of our ego. Nafsul Ammara, the ego that always pushing us to do sins. Allah doesn't put his knowledge on sins. It has to be pure. And the purity, he is the one that knows when you are pure or not. That's why Sayyidina Muhammad وسلم, he said, I am first time Prophet used the word Anna. If you check the Holy Quran, never Prophet used Allah through his holy verses, never mentioned that Prophet ﷺ used Anna. What's Anna in English? Me. And from Anna comes Anania. Selfishness. He never, he never said, I, Prophet Sallallahu Never, in, except in one case. He always used either a third person singular or plural. A first, uh, a third person or plural. We, or us, or Sahaba or this or Rabbi, never he said I, except in this hadith. Because that hadith, it will show you the unbroken, continuous knowledge that Prophet is getting from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every moment. And awliyaullah, they say, ulama, they say that in every moment Prophet is ascending 
is ascending if 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 let's say the first time he ascend this much the second time he will ascend not this much equal to this it will be double every moment he is ascending double and double like an atomic reaction do you know that how is atomic reaction in one time the chain reaction become uh, you cannot anymore is double it's complete everywhere can reach everywhere depend on how much the chain re reaction is strong they throw it over Horishima. How many sh it killed? 50,000? It was in limits. If it was bigger, how much, how much it will hit? <laughs> maybe twice, maybe three times, maybe four times. What do you think about the atomic reaction of the secrets of Holy Quran? Is there a limit? Can in one moment can cover this whole dunya with this whole universe with meanings that no one was able to understand. And that's why it led Prophet to say, I, because Allah gave him the, we don't say the, uh, we don't say gave him only mi'raj because he gave him what he deserved Allah knows how much profit is precious to him we don't say he invited him invitation is in limit but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't invite because it's a right haq. he dressed it with two prophets وسلم, he dressed him that right that he is Allah the creator and Muhammad وسلم, is the creation in all because from his light creation was created for his sake created was, creation was created so it is not anymore an invitation. It's come to see what you own, what I gave you to own. So he brought him wherever he brought him, but he brought him ascending through this universe. And this universe is a creation. Ha cannot be he met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a creation, in a, a, in a place that been created. Allah doesn't appear in a created place. Allah cannot be contained in something created. He is the creator. Created, contained by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but not Allah is contained by created, by creation. So he is above, outside that. So when Prophet Wasallam was ascending through this universe, he was only able to see from one side of the telescope, or he was able to see everything. Or that's not going to be a an ownership is not going to be let's never mind call it an invitation invitation has has no limits so he knew what is secret behind everything they say in our galaxy there is 80 billion stars means he knew every detail in these stars and he counted them and he knew them and he knew their names heavenly names <laughs> not he's saying something of mistake or of 
make up. No. He is wahi. He is being given wahi in dunya, wahi in, in heavens. Allah appear in heavens. Yes, in the day, in the day of the after day of judgment, when when uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala send Ummatul Nabi to paradise, He appears. What what He appears? A form? No. His manifestation, like Sayyidina Musa asked, yes. Sayyidina Musa was not able to carry the manifestation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the mountain. Ummatul Nabi will be seeing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. These manifestations, we cannot say, because we, we cannot go into that ocean. It's a, an ocean that has no beginning, no end. We cannot jump in it. But what we know that they will see as Prophet mentioned. So the one that was able to penetrate and knew all this knowledge, can he say, Anna, yes, I, I? That's why he said, Anna Madinatul Ilmi wa Aliyun Babuha. I am wala fakhr and no pride he is saying I am the city of knowledge what is the city of knowledge that knowledge that in every sajda you are doing for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sajda to ibadah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like he did for Israfil he wrote the holy Quran between his eyes is going to write, order angels to write the Holy Quran in between your eyes. In every sajda, he will give you the same words but with different meanings. And will never end. From one to another is changed. Completely changed. Now we are jama'ah here, we do sajda. How many we hear? 500, 1000, 10,000, whatever it is. We do sajda, everyone will get sajda with a different a knowledge from the other. Look, that he gave to Prophet The leader of a country knows every problem in the country. And knows every goodness in the country. A leader of representing the creation in presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only one that been brought to the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Sayyidina Muhammad alayhi afdal salatu wa salam. He will not know about his ummah. He will not know about what Allah created from the light of Muhammad sallallahu From Muhammad's light that Allah created that light first. He created creation. So that light that being created first, some of it, some of that light, the creation was created. So that huge light cannot know what is part being from it that has been used to, be, to carry the creation, the rest of the creation. Oh Muslims, if Muslim day and night thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not enough. It's not only Muslims, if all creation Thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every moment is not enough. In every moment, if you praise Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as Allah ordered in Holy Quran, is not enough. We are helpless, all of us. We are doing something but is blended with many negative issues. We are doing, trying to do as much as possible, but all that, as Allah said, uh, as Prophet وسلم, mentioned in the hadith of, narrated by Sayyidina Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim, I mentioned it yesterday, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what he is going to judge first, three people, means three groups.
First, he wants to judge. First man coming to be judged. He is a martyr. He died as martyr. Shaheed. He is a shaheed. Allah will call him and he says, These are, he shows him the favors that he will give to a shaheed. And he said to him, do you know what to do, how to, to deserve these, these uh, favors that I am giving you? What, how do, what allow you to deserve them? Rabbi, I did, I did shaheed in your way. I was shaheed in your way, so I deserve them. Allah is asking, do you deserve them? He said, yes, I, I, I was shaheed. He said, you are a liar. You want to make shaheed in, old, in order only people to say that you are courageous. You want only to make shaheed in order that people will write your name everywhere. You want to make shaheed, like today, sorry to say that, killing innocent people only to be your name is written on every website, on every uh, cable TV. You are a liar. Come angels, take him on his head, pull him from his head, throw him in hellfire. That, the one that Everyone around the world is saying, this is Shaheed. And Prophet is mentioning that hadith in Sahih Muslim. No, he's not. Allah say, you are a liar. You did that not for me. You did it for your ego. And you got what you want. You got people saying that you become a Shaheed because you did a suicide bombing. You became a shaheed. So you got what you want. This is what you wanted. To people to write your name everywhere. It's written everywhere. But for me, it's not written. They take him to hellfire. Allahu Akbar. Means be careful. <coughs> oh, Muslims, be careful. We cannot do things and say Allah likes it. We have to check. Are we doing it for Allah or for our ego? Sayyidina Ali, Sayyidina Ali, when he was fighting in one of the, his war, he had an eye problem. And Prophet kept him in the tent. He said, don't fight, don't go out. Until a wrestler came and want to fight with, the, with Sayyidina Ali. He was calling him by name and calling him bad names. And Prophet not allowing Sayyidina Ali to go. Finally he said, Ya Rasulullah, I have to go. He put from his holy saliva on his eye. And his eye become stronger that he can see where people cannot see. That's, his, that's why he said, Ana Madinatul Ilmi wa Aliyun Babuha. Because he can see. He can see what people cannot see. So he went out. And as soon as they begin to fight, he put the wrestler down. The enemy. And taking his sword, want to cut his neck, the enemy spit on his face. On the face of Sayyidina Ali. So he took the sword and threw it. And he stopped. He said, I'm not killing you. Why you are not killing me? You have to kill me. Because this is how the war at that time. Discipline. They have discipline. Today in the wars, do they have discipline? No, no discipline in the wars between Muslim and non-Muslim. Between Muslim and Muslim. Between non-Muslim and non-Muslim. No discipline anymore. Before they used to have chivalry, chivalry, they have discipline. 
Today they don't have discipline. Who wants to reach first to the chair? So Sayyidina Ali dropped the sword and said, I'm not touching you anymore. He said, no, you have to kill me. I cannot go to my tribe anymore without you. I have my respect in my tribe, my pride, my pride. I cannot. He said, no, finish. Why? He said, because before I was killing you for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, now I am killing you for my ego. I cannot do that. For my ego is not going to be accepted. I don't kill for my ego. I kill for Allah's sake. So that martyr mentioned in the hadith of Prophet wasallam, he wants to become martyr only for people to praise his ego. Now what will happen or not later that is Allah judgment, for sure Allah will send him to paradise, but if he deserve it. So Sayyidina Ali didn't want to kill his enemy where he was victorious on his, on, on his enemy. He didn't want because he is now killing him for his ego. So that wrestler said, Ya Ali, if that is Islam, I am becoming Muslim. So Islam is this, is discipline. It's good manners. Sayyidina Ali has ma good manners. So that's why we have to be careful what good manners we have to show. The second person that Allah will, will uh, judge is alim. Someone who study ilm and study sharia ah and study Quran comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah says to him do you know what you have to do to deserve these favors that I showing you? He said, Ya Rabbi, yeah, I became alim for you. I'm spreading da'wah. I'm spreading knowledge. This is not my quote, my speech. This is Prophet Wasallam hadith from Abu Huraira in Sahih Muslim. He say, what what you deserve to get to get my favors. He said, I made alim for you, Ya Rabbi. I taught alim, I taught knowledge. I read, I memorized Quran and I'm teaching it. I did that for you. He said, no, you are lying. You are a liar. Anta kathab. It's, it's not easy standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say, Allah says to you, you are a liar. Uh, be careful. You have to be very careful. Especially, that's why many Sahaba didn't want to pray Imam, to become Imam, to lead prayers. Because you carry the responsibility of those who are praying with you. He said, no, you are a liar. You did that for money. You did that for people to say you are better than the others. You did that because you want to pay in front or you put in front of your name. That's my addition. Doctor. Doctor, professor. Allama, mufti. For what? Imam Malik didn't want to make ifta. In all his life, he didn't make if a fatwa three or four. Because you are responsible. You did that for your dunya, not for me. Oh, my angels, take him to hellfire. The last one before we finish is someone that is very rich, rich person. And Allah says to him, what you have done to deserve my favors? He said, Ya Rabbi, I give into your way. I give people, poor people, I helped everyone. He said, no, this is for you. You did that because you want people to say you are generous, rich. You did that because you want people to say that person has to be sitting 
at the, at the highest chair in fundraising today. You didn't do that for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You want to do it for me, you would have hide what you are doing. Sayyidina Umar carrying the bags, hiding himself, carrying the bags, going, giving poor people, no one knows who is he. Your name will become everywhere. Big manshet, manshet. Big banners. Al-Muhsin Al-Kabir, don't see that? Al-Muhsin Al-Kabir, the biggest uh, generous, huh? the philanthropist, I don't know in this English. The biggest philanthropist, you did it for that, you didn't do it for me. Oh, my angels come take to hellfire. These three groups will be checked first. We are not saying that Allah's mercy is not great. That's something else. Allah for sure will forgive everyone from Ummatul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And it is mentioned in many ahadith. And in the hadith, the big hadith of Prophet in the Sahih of Bukhari, when he, Allah called him for first one to be called and to make shafa'a. And he did do shafa'a for the whole Ummah. And it will enter everyone, enter paradise for the, for the love of Prophet وسلم, and for his sake. But this only to bring us back to the normal track. To the track that the train has to go in it through dunya. So we have to be very careful. Sayyidina Abu Bakr, what he was saying, I mentioned it yesterday. He was saying, oh, oh my Lord, Ya Rabbi, this Sayyidina Abu Bakr, oh, take it. We have to take a heat, take a lesson. Oh Allah, if you had created me grass on the f when they grow up in the streets everywhere, it's grass. When they say in English, grass, uh, not marijuana, <laughs> grass. If you created me grass, it would be better than to create me a human being. Because I will be eaten by your animals and I disappear. Instead of standing in front of you, I don't know where to go. Go to paradise or go to hellfire. This is Sayyid Abu Bakr Siddiq. Oh Muslims, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. And may Allah bless us and bless this masjid and bless everyone who is praying in this masjid this week or other any other week and give generously don't say i am giving give is not allah will be happy because they can do more works may allah for and do for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not for anyone else what you do is you do for Allah. What you do of love to Prophet وسلم, you do for Prophet. For you do for your mashayikh, you do for your mashayikh. Don't do for yourself. Wa min Allahi tawfiq bi hurmatil fatiha.